Hello guys, I'm CFC Alex and welcome back to another transfer special video. So today I'm going to cover three specific topics with you guys. The first one regards the Sari updates. The second one regards the Rogani and Sari updates. And the third one regards a potential swap deal with a Bundesliga player. Now, after I've done that, there will be a special announcement at the end of this video. So please do stick around to watch that. So now onto the first topic of the day, which regards, of course, the Sari updates and the news that have been provided by my source since we last talked on Thursday. Now, from what I know, Fabio Giotti, Sari's lawyer, left for London Friday early morning to meet Chelsea and was joined by Napoli's representatives Ramadani and Pellegrini. Now, in terms of the contract negotiations, those are done. Sari will get a three-year deal worth 6 million euros a year with a possible extension of up to two years. Now, this reported extension could apply to Sari only if there is consistent Champions League and he wins a big trophy in his second or third season. In terms of the gentleman's agreement, there's actually one thing that I forgot to tell you guys, and that was the fact that Chelsea will have to abide to this agreement, starting from the 1st of July, 2018, all the way to the 30th of June, 2020. So for two seasons, they will have to abide by this agreement. In terms of Aurelio De Laurentiis, uh, Chelsea will have to pay a five million pound compensation fee uh, before the end of June. Otherwise, that fee will rise up to an amount of eight million euros. So that means that basically, if the fee is not paid uh, by the 1st of July, it will be eight million euros instead of five million euros. Now, ADL is resigned to letting Sarri go, but is angry at how the situation unfolded and as long as Ramadani and Pellegrini are happy with the deal ADL will just agree uh, and try to move on. This agreement however could be finalized on Napoli's end within the next couple of days but once that's done I think we can pretty much say Sarri will be the new Chelsea manager. Now once Sarri is signed negotiations for our targeted players could be much simpler and with the likes of Seri Rogano Manalas uh, potentially signing for Chelsea a couple of days after Sari signs. Now onto the second topic of this video which regards the Rogani and Seri updates. Now after my discussions with my source he told me that Chelsea have been talking with Rogani's agent for the last week or two and yesterday have offered Juventus a fee of 35 million euros plus bonuses for Rugani. Now, contrary to fake reports suggesting that Juventus want a minimum of 40 million euros for Rugani, Juventus are resigned to letting Rugani go as he wants to go to Chelsea to play with Sarri. Now, Juventus are targeting the lit from Ajax who could cost around 40 million euros and Godin from Atletico Madrid who could cost around 35 million euros to replace Rugani. Now, with regards to Sarri, my source has told me that the deal with Napoli for Seri has definitely fallen through as Napoli are now targeting Brian Ruiz from Sporting Lisbon. Now, of course, Seri did state that he wants to go to a big club in the Premier League. However, with the likes of Man City uh, having pretty much signed Jorginho from Napoli and Arsenal having pretty much signed Torreira from Sampdoria, it definitely seems that Chelsea are the front runners. Once Sarri is signed, Chelsea will definitely push to finalize the deal for Sarri and pay Sarri's 40 million euro release costs before July 15th, because as Sarri's agent stated, on that day, Sarri's release clause expires. And from that point, Nice can put any figure that they want on Sarri. Now as to my thoughts on Burgani, and to me it definitely seems like the reason why we're targeting him is because Hey Hill and David Luiz might not be part of Chelsea. You know, Sarri doesn't seem to favor Rudiger and does seems to favor Rugani over him, so it's kind of understandable. As for Sarri, um, well look, I mean, of course I have a little bit of a concern over him and how he could fare in the Premier League. I'm happy to have him at the club, don't worry. 
it's just that you know as i said the ingrown toenails is the is the thing that worries me at the moment now on to the third and final topic of this video which regards a potential swap deal with a bundesliga club now what i can reveal is that this potential swap deal is with Dortmund and this player is none other than Pulisic. Now of course Chelsea have been interested in Pulisic for a while and Dortmund seem to be keen on signing Morata. Chelsea are considering a swap deal with Dortmund to be ahead of Bayern Munich to sign Pulisic. Now the reason why they want to sign Pulisic is because they want to bring in fresh young talent that can become world-class at Chelsea. Now as for Morata his agent has been talking with other Italian clubs and it could be that Morata might be reluctant to go to Dortmund but Chelsea are definitely keen on moving on. Now as to my personal thoughts on this scenario and I have to say for me it's pretty sad that we're going to lose Morata within one season um, but I mean look he has stated that he wants to leave. His friends have stated that Morata wants to leave. You know he's only had one season. Pretty much a lot of fans have been on his back and trying to slate him, even though before he came, he was just a regular substitute. He was never um, a starting 11 player. And so the fact that we're slating him so much for this is just unfair, completely unfair to him. Now, my other concern is the fact that I really do like Leon Bailey. And since Pulisic plays in that more right mid, uh, right wing area. And you know, when you have the likes of Hazard, if we do sign Bailey, he's gonna have to be in that right wing position. It kind of makes me wonder, will Chelsea pursue Bailey? And well, what's the difference between these two players? Honestly, I think the best way is just to compare them and then afterwards we'll see how it goes. Now, in terms of the stats between Leon Bailey and Christian Pulisic, defensively, I mean, you can definitely see that Leon Bailey is not really that defensive, uh, nor is Christian Pulisic but Christian Pulisic defensively seems to be a little bit better, you know, in terms of his tackles per game, uh, in terms of his uh, fouls per game, in terms of his dribbles per game. And so here offensively, what I can see is that Leon Bailey, apart from when it comes to the dribbles per game, of course, is definitely better compared to Christian Pulisic. And in terms of their passing stats, well, you can definitely see that they're not really players that pass a lot. Uh, it would seem that they're between 25 to 30 passes per game and their pa pass success rate is between 75 to 80 percent. Now to conclude, and I definitely think that Bailey is the right player that Chelsea need and does seem better offensively compared to Pulisic. Now none of those two players are defensive minded and passing wise well, they're pretty similar. So yeah, I think to me Bailey should be in our starting 11 if we do sign him and not only that if we do sign Bailey Pulisic could provide some good backup uh, just in case now in terms of Morata of course as I just said I am resigned to letting him leave uh, even if it's going to Dortmund however if we do get someone like Martial for Willian or if we do get someone like Higuain I do think it's better if we get Higuain over Martial and the reason why is because for me Batshuayi has a lot to learn and having someone like Higuain could actually help him grow for a year or two. And then from there, you know, Vajtroy could easily integrate into the starting 11. Now, of course, as I said at the beginning of this video, I had one or two announcements to make. And the first announcement that I want to state is that basically from Wednesday until mid-September, I will be in the US and it could be a little bit difficult to make uh, videos and upload them on this channel. However, I will definitely do my best to upload twice a week and it could be that I change the days on which I upload. Uh, one of them, one of the videos might have to be on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday while the other one could be on Saturday or Sunday. Now, the second thing I like to say is basically, I really enjoyed recording the video that I published on Thursday at YouTube Space in London. I hope you guys did too. I mean, to me, the fact that I got the opportunity to have a friend invite me to YouTube Space in London uh, and to use the editing room to record my video is just an amazing feeling. And 
you know, I just feel like I want to do this more often uh, once I come back from the US, of course. Now, the only hiccup out of that is I need a minimum of 10,000 subscribers. And, you know, given how accurate the information that I provided you guys with has been, you know, you can definitely see that very well-known, trusted journalists have reported on this. I believe you guys will definitely enjoy my videos if I recorded them in the studios in YouTube Space London. I'm trying to achieve that by mid-September, but if you can help out, you know, with family members, telling them about my videos, subscribing, you know, I would definitely feel as though, you know, you want me to go to the YouTube space in London once I come back and do recordings in those studios. And you know what, if we do achieve that goal by mid-September, I will definitely do my best to record videos over there, possibly every week or every two weeks. All right guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel, I would massively appreciate it. And once you've done that, please press the bell notification button. Of course, I will from here on leave my Twitter page. It will be either on screen right now or it will be in the description. And I will also leave a link, uh, a Twitter link to a friend of mine who actually does pretty well when it comes to reporting. He has a lot of sources and you know, the fact that he has this type of information is amazing. So his link will also be either on screen or down below. Anyways, guys, I will catch you guys later.